Aye aye, it's Colin. In June of 2019, I spent a week in Toulouse. This video is my way of sharing with you some of the sects I saw when I was there. Toulouse is the biggest city of the south of France and the fourth biggest inn in the whole country with well over a million folk biding there. With three universities, the oldest inn going back to the year 1229, a guidmonia though million in mayor is young folk. For all that, I can't say an old money like me felt out of place, as you're going to want to see. You'll mind for the introduction that they cry to lose the pink tune. Fit why do they cry at that? It's nothing to do with la vie en rose, life in the pink. It's about fit the place is made for. The core of most European cities is made for the local stain, and at home with Aberdeen made for granite and Glasgow made for sandstein. Toulouse is made for reed terracotta brick. You see it best in the very middle of the tune, La Place du Capitole. The square is a mix of all in you. Most of the biggins is for the 20th century, but the capital itself is for 1750, and parts of the inside is for the 16th century. As well as being Toulouse's townhouse, the Capitol holds a bell tour, a theatre, a concert hall and an art gallery. As well as the Capitol, the square holds a market and along the other sides there's shops, restaurants, cafes and hotels, all made for the same reed brick. St Cernan's Basilica has a history gone back to the 4th century although the big in there nowadays isn't as old as that. It's mere like about 900 year old. The Basilica is in of the stops along the Camino de Santiago, a network of pilgrims roads leading to Santiago de Compostela in Galicia. The Kirk in Notre Dame du Tour was big at around 600 year sign in the southern French Gothic style. Again, it's made for the same reed brick. The Jacobin Kirk, or the Jacobin Monastery, was bigot in the year 1229. When the University of Toulouse was first founded, it was based there in awe. The Jacobins was a nickname given to the Dominican Order after the street in Paris, for they had their first monastery. The Dominican Order was banned altogether after the French Revolution of 1789. For a time the monastery was used for an army barracks and the place fell into ruin. The army moved out in 1861. Restoration started in 1905 and ended in 1974. Among the brick you'll see the street names are gained in Occitan as well as French. At a time the hail of the south of France spoke Occitan, but it did out in Toulouse between the 1920s and the 1960s. Can you hin your fell a looking at brick was, you'll likely feel like a change of surroundings and you'll maybe want to see a bit of greenery. Toulouse has bonny parks and gardens open to Abadie. The Mickle Ring is not just a room bit for the fountain is or even the bandstand. The park has about 10 acre of ground altogether and got its name for a race course that used to be there. As well as the fountain, the bandstand and other plants, there's a current statues in the Grand Rond as well. There's a fit brig to tuck you for the Mickle Ring over to the Royal Garden. This garden was laid out in 1754 in the style of an English garden. The landscaping was done out again as lately as 2018. Some of the park's trees belong to rare species and some of the trees are hundreds of years old. The hussy in the middle of the pond is for the dukes. Toulouse's parks and gardens are not just ornamental. On the first Friday, Saturday and Sunday at Alka month, this scene turns into a market selling all sorts of second-hand truck and maybe the entering rare bargain in a.
can you hang your fill a looking at plants and greenery, you'll maybe went into their change of surroundings, maybe to see some water. Toulouse has three main waterways, the River Garonne, the Canal du Midi, or the Canal of the South, and the Canal Natural that joins other two. The idea ahead of this was that ships could pass from the Mediterranean to the Atlantic Ocean through the canals in the river, without hinting the far longer way through the Straits of Gibraltar. The Garonne runs from the Arran Valley, south of the border in Spain, all the way to the Bay of Biscay. Along the way, it passes through Toulouse and Bordeaux. In Toulouse, there's a Kern Briggs crossing the river. The two you see in this photo is the Pont Neuf and the Pont Saint-Pierre, that is, the new brig and St. Peter's brig. The new brig, the inn that's made for steam, it is not especially new. It took Guinea 90 year to big between 1544 and 1632. St. Peter's brig, the inn with the metal arch, is newer. It was bigot between 1849 and 1852. The Canal du Midi was made between 1666 and 1681. It runs between Toulouse in the north and an inlet of the Mediterranean in the south. In the beginning, traffic on the canal was barges carrying cargo, so there's guy near Nina the one left nowadays. The main port on the canal, the Port Saint Sauveur, used to be lined with warehouses for the goods that were coming and gone. Nowadays, they are a knock it down to make way for waterfront apartments. Traffic on the canal nowadays is mainly for leisure and there's a speed limit at 8 kilometres an hour. 80% of passengers on the canal are foreign, mostly German, Swiss and British. The canal had a big role in the BBC series Rick Stein's French Odyssey made in 2005. Even without only trade in goods, or the other activity on the canal brings in a total of about 122 million euro a year. In Sif Fell, a looking at brick was, padding ruin green parks and cruising on the waterways, fits left for you today. All that's left to do is to flee into space. In Toulouse, you can get as near to dawn as you could ever do without leaving the ground. The Cité de l'Espace is a scientific centre, gain hour to space and space travel. It was opened in 1997 and it's been growing for then on. Over the length of time it's been open, the centre has seen 5 million folk to visit. The full-scale models of the like of the Ariane 5 rocket, the Mir space station and Soyuz modules for you can gain Ben and look around. There's an IMAX cinema and a planetarium with seats for 1280 folk. It's on the outskirts of the town but it's easy to win till and the ride for the middle of Toulouse on the metro and a bus when I take you three quarters of an hour. There's just a mere thing. Another big local industry run about Toulouse is growing violets. In the town, you see shops selling sweeties, jelly, liqueurs, fragrance, biscuits, and last thing you could think of tasting or smelling of violets. That's our thing now. I hope you've liked this wee video, and you never can, another time there might be another trip away, some way.